Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review then. So I've got one or two kind of still fest beers going on in the fridge and I keep seeing them still at this time of the year. So we're getting into, you know, the last week of like October. Um, so Oktoberfest is obviously finished now, but at the end of the day, it's um, they're still going on. I'm still seeing them. I'm still, I still like drinking them. So I'm going to try and document as many as I can. So anyway, this one is from the Verdant, Verdant Brewing Company, down in Cornwall, and this is their Fest beer, um, lager, and it's five point five percent. So this is their twenty twenty three edition. So yeah, five point five percent ABV, elevated. Um, Hellis style lager beer. Um, there's a bit of a commercial description on Untapped, so we'll go through it now. My chair's still playing up, so bear with me. Here's our 2023 Fest beer an elevated Hellis lager beer. Uh, best malts, Munich malt, uh, brings the added bread crust slightly. Chair is rubbish. Um, uh, bread, bread crust slightly more hops than usual by way of the Splatler select variety and to cap it off a nudge upwards of the ABV to 5.5% ABV. Truly a special lager to celebrate the migration into autumn or fall right, if you're in the, in the States. So, so these guys, I mean, they, you know, they're well renowned for their kind of hazy beers, of course. Um, but um, yeah. Let's try a fest beer. Now, spoiler alert, I actually tried this on draft when I was in Manchester a few weeks ago. And this chair is really, really playing up. So I'm just going to, can't be bothered anymore. We go at a crack. What's it all about? So not all of the beer is going to uh, take up this glass. So. I'm just going to have a little tap. I'll have a clean, clean glass. There we go. Um, so yeah, kind of a golden in colour. It's got uh, just below a one finger white head. Um, looks the part. Very clean looking. Um, yeah. General carbonation. Nothing crazy, but there's a lot of bubbles sticking to the side of the glass. It's annoying me. It's annoying me. Anywho, let's get a nose on this one, see what it's all about. I don't know what hops are in this. Does it sell in the can? Uh, contains water, barley, hops, yeast. Yeah, pretty straightforward there. They're out of Penrith Truro. See, so yeah, on the nose, is there's a lovely kind of sweet lemon. Waxy lemon, sweet waxy lemon, citrus. It's got that kind of, um, for me, blindfolded. A nice kind of pills in the malt. A little bit kind of white bready, you know, that, that kind of deal. Really nice aroma. There is a slight kind of underlying spiciness, but to be honest with you, it's not about that. It's more of, more of that, that kind of waxy lemon. Now, with Fest beers, what I've found before, they are a little bit more spicy but and bready, but they haven't got that kind of malt bill. And, um, and that's what I'm getting with this one, so... It's certainly not in the realms of a Mertzen or something like that, which obviously the colour would give that away. But I have I have seen a lot more kind of a darker shade um, of a fest beer before. This is more on the lines of the paler side, I'd say, more on the lines of a um, like a Pilsner fest beer. If it's not a, it's not an actual thing, but in my mind, I'm just trying to, you know. 
it's more than the pale side of a fest beer, more than, than the malty side. And then up from that, you go into the Mertzens and blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's at least what I've experienced over the last two or three years. But it's nice to try different ones and you get different elements and this and that. Um, there's quite a lot of variation. That's all I can kind of say. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Cheers. So the first thing that I'm getting is very clean. Very, very clean. It's definitely got more of that kind of pills and a quality to the beer. Clean, crisp, refreshing. And then you're left with this residual... It's not malty, but it's more of a, a, a nice kind of bready spiciness. Yeah. Kind of a white pepper, waxy lemon, white bread, residualness on the palate. But then it still reminds you of a, of, of a nice, clean, crisp Pilsner as well. It's just that extra kind of bite, if you like, um, from, from that fest beer kind of style. But very nice. Um, as I say, I, did, I have actually tried this on draft um, in Manchester about oh, two or three weeks ago when I was up there one of the bars, I can't remember where I actually had it so it might have been actually at Indie Man Beer Festival actually at the, at the actual, um, I think it was at their actual bar I remember trying, oh that's good mm. it was really nice to actually try this one um, so yeah not much else to say about it um, so you've had it or not. Uh, I think it's still knocking around in selective places. So Verdant Brew Co. This is their Fest Beer 2023. Lager. 5.5% this, this vintage of 2023. So um, I know they brought it out in in previous years. And there's been a different ABV, etc. So um, yeah, this is the 2023 edition. There's the back of the can. So if I get to review it again, see what's changed. But yeah. Um, done a really good job I quite like it so let me know I've had this one before um, there, I've got one or two kind of festy type beers one from my local brewery um, and then a classic one from Germany as well coming up um, I think that's all I've got maybe one or, one more I'm not sure whatever um, but we're coming toward the ends of uh, ends of uh, the 2023 kind of fest beer October fest kind of season um, and then maybe I'll get into the into the um, Halloween beers and, and pumpkin beers. We'll see. But um, I've really enjoyed this this season of, of uh, October Fest beers or Fest beers um, this year. Um, nice to try a lot of UK breweries version or take on on the style. And this is another one. So, um, but yeah. Anyway, let me know if I've had this one before. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.